So the first item is avoid litigation, uphold the trust. The second one is take control of Children's Pool. Now we have, the city has control, but it hasn't taken control. The city just has responsibility for everything that happens at Children's Pool. The law was changed. There's a new law, well, slightly altered, and so there's nothing to save. We now are in compliance with the trust as we stand, have been for some time, don't have to do anything, but we can improve it. The only danger to the children, to the seals at Children's Pool was caused by the city violating the trust. Um, I think you rarely, until today, have heard uh, people speak who have actually been attacked for defending the human use of the children's pool. Well, I am one, and I resent it, and I think it's illegal. Um, I have statements from at least 40 other people to support that. The city of San Diego is allowing a public park, the children's pool, beach, and surrounding area, to be mismanaged by a special interest group. The result is a sleazy theme park. The noise, trash, and turmoil are outrageous, and the sidewalks and streets are dangerous. This meeting, I believe, is about management, and I urge the city to take over management in the ways that have been specified before and are in my handout. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Do you have like a list, a tick list of things that we are obligated to do? Any, any things that um, you know, we are currently doing that we must continue? Anything that you would recommend that we start to do? Um, well, I think the first speaker covered it in his points, which is um, don't violate the trust and this don't is a, initiate the litigation. This future management plan for I, I don't. Pool. I don't have his handout. I was taking notes. But basically, we need to not violate the trust. We can't violate the Marine Mammal Protection Act, which I don't believe anyone has alleged that we are violating. Um, there, there isn't a, a mandated thing that we must be doing at this point. So you would ag agree with the items A through H, clean the beach during times of public access, uh, accept no guidelines. I, I don't have quotes. his handout, okay. um, but some of the comments he made were avoid litigation and comply with the law. So right. that's those well, see, are that's the what I'm, trying to, I'm trying to take that, you know, what, what are some of the legal parameters in terms of the cost right now? Um, to the city for policing. I mean, yeah, the, the, there's. I think the great idea put on this on the table about concessions and using the revenue for the protection and the maintenance of the, the children's pool. Great idea. But there's also the cost avoidance. If we don't have all those police officers constantly going out there, um, yeah, that is a, a savings to taxpayers. So there are some cost avoidance items that we may be able to look at in terms of um, a policy and, and how to fully fund that policy on a go forward basis. Thank you. Also understand the need to balance that protection with preserving public access for beachgoers, especially during the summer months, while also addressing, as has been mentioned, the community concerns with traffic, noise, parking issues, public safety, public health, and other environmental concerns. A plan with buy-in from the community and the involved stakeholders will have the greatest chance of long-term success, and we certainly haven't had success at Children's Pool. Opinion from the city attorney on the definition of a marine mammal park, since that office originally suggested the term, and we have not been able to find a definition of it. What, uh, not only what is the definition, which is, I think, what Ms. Leitner is asking in her motion, but what are the legal obligations if we define it as a marine mammal park? What, what, what do we trigger if we make that designation uh, from a legal standpoint? So I'd like to know um, not only how that's defined, as is currently in the motion, but what would be the legal obligations if we, if we took that step, um, again, for long term? We are the legislature for the city of San Diego. We do not have to wait for a city staffer to come to us with a recommendation, Mr. DeMaio. Anything less, to just simply accept a little napkin approach to this, uh, while it may be nice uh, from the standpoint of PR, is not good policy, and I will not support that sort of motion. Okay, well, we do have a bit of gridlock, so let's see if we can work through it. Well, clearly, if we need an LCP amendment, my understanding is the last one with uh, the La Jolla Community Plan took about 10 years to get through. So I don't know that we want to pursue actions that require an LCP amendment. Um, and I know, 
understand. 